Tiny 1126H1 Lite gives you the latest Windows 11 in a 4GB footprint with no extras slowing you down. You get a clean setup that starts fast, stays fast, and is totally safe to use. Hi, this is Neil from Apatis. Today, let's install this special build. In this video, you see the full process from start to finish. We begin by building Tiny 1126H1 Lite with the Creator tool. Open the Creator. The official link is in the pinned comment. Press Build. The tool creates your Tiny 11 Lite installer on its own. If you do not want to build it yourself, you can order a pre-built installer from the official site. Both options work. Use a valid Windows 11 license. We support only clean and legal installs. Build time changes based on your connection and your hardware. When the process finishes, the log shows Bill finished successfully. That confirms your installer is ready. Do not download Tiny11 from unofficial sources. That can expose your system to unsafe files. Use the creator or the verified installer from the official site. When the installer is ready, the logs show build finished successfully. Now we move to Xeno, a small tool that installs Tiny11 without a bootable USB. Xeno is included in the package. Open it, select the Tiny11 installer you built earlier, and choose the target drive. Make sure the drive has no important data because the setup wipes everything. Set the file system to NTFS, confirm your choices, and let Xeno run. This step finishes quickly. When Xeno completes the install, restart your PC. You should see a dual boot entry for Tiny11. If the entry does not show up, you can add it with a BCD tool like EasyBCD or VisualBCD. That is the full process with no USB and no extra steps. If Xeno does not work or you want to install with a bootable USB, use Rufus. It is simple and reliable. Connect a USB drive with at least four gigabytes of space and back up your files because the drive will be wiped. Open Rufus, select your Tiny11 installer, pick the USB drive and start the setup. This step finishes in about five to 10 minutes based on your system and USB speed. When it is done, your Tiny11 USB is ready. Restart your PC and press the boot menu key, usually F12, F8, or Escape, then pick the USB drive. If you do not know the correct key for your device, a quick search will help. After you boot from the USB, the Tiny11 setup starts on its own. It works the same as a normal Windows 11 install. When you reach the drive selection screen, make sure you choose the correct drive because it will be overwritten. You can change your language later, so skip that part for now. When the installation completes, Tiny11 takes you to a clean desktop. If you want to avoid reinstalling Windows, or if you want instant speed on your current setup, use Velotic. It upgrades your existing Windows with a single click. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now we move to the key step, turning Windows 11 into Tiny11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page, and press play. The tool handles everything for you. With one click, your system reaches Tiny11 speed with no file loss and no broken features. You can check the full guide through the I button and the link in the description. After the install finishes through Rufus or Xeno, your PC boots straight into the Tiny11 desktop. Turn on compression first. Open the Configure app and enable it in the Compression tab. This reduces the size of your system drive by up to 60% and frees a large amount of storage while keeping performance steady. It is safe and recommended for most users. When compression completes, 
you are running the latest Tiny 1126H1 Lite at full speed. The full system sits at about four to five gigabytes. It is far smaller than standard Windows. It loads faster, runs smoother, and uses less RAM. For full benchmark results, check the benchmark video in the pinned comments. Now that Tiny 11 Lite is running, we can bring it online. Open the Configure app and pick the browser you want. I am choosing Chrome, but you can install Edge, Opera, or Firefox based on your preference. Tell me which browser you use in the comments. I read them all. Chrome installs in a few seconds with one click. After you get internet access, visit my YouTube channel and our partner channel and hit subscribe if you have not already. You will find a Discord link in the description. Join the server to talk with other Tiny11 and Velotic users, get support, and see early previews of new builds. If you face sudden crashes or out-of-memory errors, you can fix them quickly. Open the Configure app, turn on paging files, and restart your system. This change solves most stability problems. Paging files stay off by default to save space, but turning them on gives your system more room to work and stops memory-related issues. Now we set up drivers. These handle graphics, sound, network, storage, and input devices. Tiny11 keeps this step simple. You do not need unsafe driver sites or advanced installers. Open the Configure app, select Install Drivers, and pick the components you want. You can also use Install All to finish everything in one click. Do you need drivers? If you play games or edit videos, you need proper graphics drivers. On laptops, drivers control the touchpad, touchscreen, and function keys. On desktops, they enable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, audio, and power features. When driver driver setup finishes, your PC runs the way it should, stable, fast, and with full hardware support. Tiny11 Lite is a premium product built for people who want speed, privacy, and dependable performance. No lag, no clutter, stable and fast every day. Never use free Tiny11 builds from unknown sources. Many of them carry malware or keyloggers. These tools can record passwords, payment info, and other private data. Running those builds puts your system and your money at risk. If you want real safety and real speed, use the premium build. The pinned comment has the clean install link. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This is Apidus signing off.